the Holy Week season is going to be an opportunity to yet again uh, be creative. There's some wonderful worship resources um, that are being produced. Uh, we've got some on our website. There are others that are being shared. Um, everything from, you know, what if you did a, a foot washing with your family in your own home? Uh, what if you do your own Palm Sunday parade um, this Sunday? Uh, riding, I see so many families riding their bikes. Uh, why doesn't a you know, what if a family videotaped themselves doing their own Palm Sunday parade when they're out on their bikes or going out for walks? And, you know, I, what if we took a little quick video of that and posted it on our Facebook pages on Sunday, on Palm Sunday? You know, how cool would that be? We'd see everybody's Palm Sunday parade. And then, um, then as we enter into the week on Thursday, do a foot washing in your home. Um, we've got some resources about doing communion and my goodness, um, I will say that I've been at probably the, the, um, the wrong end of that stick uh, by some people who that's just not a popular thing for us to offer communion virtually. Um, I've given uh, the opportunity for pastors, given their context, wherever they might be, that in these extreme times, for this time only, um, that we can have a time of sharing in the Lord's Supper together. We've got love feast resources. Uh, the one thing I would ask is if you're going to do communion, that you do it within the liturgy of the church, which we've got some people that have put together some beautiful liturgy uh, for communion during this time. One day we'll go back and placing that piece of bread in somebody's hand and handing them uh, the cup for them to dip in or a cup for them to take. And I can't wait for that day. But for now, for this period of time, um, this is one of the ways that God's people join together. And I've seen remarkable things happen. Uh, but I think we can make this journey. Um, what if Sunday morning we all got dressed like we were going to church and uh, gathered around our computers rather than, you know, we'd be gathering some of us in our PJs and our cups of coffee. Um, but what if we got dressed like we were going to church? Um, I heard uh, long ago when First Methodist Church Baton Rouge first went on television that people used to get dressed like like they were going to church and sit in their homes or the nursing home or wherever they might be. So maybe we all get out of our PJs maybe this on Easter Sunday and um, uh, just have a time of, of true worship.